So welcome back once again to What Gear Reviews and today I'm looking at this, the Humax Eye, as requested by you guys on Twitter. So there was various other products I was going to look at today and you guys chose this one so this is the one I'm going to do. And I want to say a big thank you again to Humax for supporting a tech YouTuber underdog like me. But anyway, let's have a look at this. This is the Humax Eye. It's a day and night HD cloud camera. You can set it up at home from your smartphones, your tablets, your computers, and you can even watch this back on your Humax TV box, which was actually sent to me a while ago as well. So you can actually access this camera and watch the videos, which are stored on the cloud, on your TV using the Humax FreeSat box. But I have to mention, this is not a replacement for home security. If you're looking for a really good home security system, you should definitely check out my very short sure review. A lot of people like that video. I think right now it actually has the most views on any very short sure video online. So go check that out. That's a full security system. I'm gonna unbox this now and take a quick look at it. And then I'm gonna set it up and tell you guys what I think of it. So this is the camera itself. Do you know what? Looking at the box, I didn't think it was going to be this small. It's really, really quite compact. Look at this thing. It's super lightweight. Uses a USB-B. Yeah, I'm impressed with that. It's proper small. So here's the mount. The camera literally just screws onto that, like so. I'll do that in a minute. They also provide you with some screws and some wall plugs to fit this to the wall, along with the little bracket there. And also they provide a European and an English three pin power port to plug it into the wall. And here's the actual power supply itself and the user manual. And here is a really, really long USB-B power cable. And bear in mind, you can put this anywhere in your house as long as it's near a plug socket. So this cable is definitely gonna come in handy and it's really long, so yeah, it's useful. So a couple of the really cool features on here is it actually instantly records on motion detection, which is cool. You can receive alerts on your smartphone. It's got a 180 degree freestanding uh, mount here, which you can see. It does connect to the Humax box. It's easy apparently to set up and I'm about to find out. It can see up to eight meters in the dark, which is awesome. And it's got a 100 degree field of view as well, which is really, really useful. So you can leave this in one spot and basically watch an entire room. And if you guys follow my channel, you know I have a dog, the mighty Kaya. And uh, I can actually use this to keep an eye on her, make sure she's not destroying any more PlayStation 4 controllers like she has done in the past. Anyway, I'm gonna set this up now. I'm gonna play around with it for about an hour, test all of the features out. But you guys won't have to wait that long. All right, so I've been messing around with this for a little bit now and I was prompted to download this from Ycam and it's just come to my attention that this camera is almost exactly the same as the Ycam Evo and it seems that Humax have actually partnered up with Ycam to create this one. You do have a couple of exclusive features on here. Um, the fact that it's black and blue as opposed to white and also you've got that integration with the Humax FreeSat box. But anyway, when you open up the app, it was really, really, really easy to connect. All you do is plug that into the power, it turns your Bluetooth on, you connect to the camera, you then connect the camera to your Wi-Fi, and then it's connected. Right now, camera's showing offline. Okay, so now I've plugged it in, and you can see the green light on there. When you uh, connect the camera, it's blue until it's connected to the server, Ycam, and then it goes green, which means you can then access it from your phone, and there it is and you can see it's picked up a notification because I'm moving in front of the camera right now. And you'll see all the lights behind me and stuff like that. But anyway, well, oh, we got anyway. anyway. Oh, anyway. Oh, anyway. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> right, so this actually picks up audio as you could just see in that last little bit there. And there was a feedback loop going on, so I won't play the live camera. Let's see if I can go to the recordings here. So we act access the activity and you can see here there's been 12 videos on this date and you'll see the video so I set it up watching my dog's bed in the living room and I tried it with the lights on and the lights off and I was messing around a bit with it on the table but anyway look at this I set a little zone around the dog's bed so that whenever she moves oh that's me messing messing around with where it's looking Let's test this one. 
So you can see there, can I put it this way? She's looking around and I set the zone around the bed. So any other movement in any part of the screen that you can see here won't trigger the recording, which is pretty cool. In terms of the quality, I'm quite happy with it. There's some cool features you can do as well uh, within the app. So let me just go back one step and show you. So in this top left corner, you can actually uh, configure how the camera works. So you can choose the camera, you can have up to four of these. You can set whether it records audio at the moment it is. You can set the night vision to be automatic, the motion recordings, so you can set it to record only when there's motion and the location recordings as well. So you can actually change the location. So basically, if you get in the radius of your house, it will disable the recordings because it knows you're home and there's no point of recording while you're home. The idea for this camera is to record when you're not home. So that's a really good feature. I haven't set it up yet. The alert notifications as well. Right now, I've just got push notifications. So I get a little message like that one up there in the top left corner. Hopefully you can see that. Uh, every time there's motion detected, but you can set it to send you emails as well, uh, which can be really annoying. You'll end up filling up your email inbox with loads of notifications if you have, you know, pets and people moving around all day. The quality, you can set standard definition or high definition. Might as well do high definition. And then you've also got this, the motion zone setting. So I'll show you this quickly. The square that you can see there is where the dog bed was but you can set different zones. You can change the size of this to whatever you want. So if you want it facing a door or anything like that, it actually acts like a trip wire. So if they cross that blue line, it will actually trigger the recording. Wi-Fi settings, self-explanatory, and time zone settings, also self-explanatory. So that is pretty much the Ycam. So far, I'm really impressed with it. You can add more cameras, as I mentioned earlier. You can view it back on the Humax FreeSat box, which is an exclusive feature for this camera. And uh, I definitely like this thing. I just need to figure out where I'm gonna put it. I'm probably gonna position it facing the dog's bed and I can watch what she's doing when I'm not home. Like I said, she's destroyed a few controllers in the past and some really expensive sunglasses. So if that happens again, I probably won't be able to stop it, but at least I'll know that she's done it. And uh, yeah. So anyway, that's it for this What Gear review on the Humax Eye. I really like this product. It's really small, compact, easy to use, easy to set up. It's really affordable as well. Like I said, you can do four of these. So you can put one of these in each room of your house if you really wanted to. You do have the audio playback. You can watch it on your TV. You can set zone detection, which is cool. And you've got seven days of cloud storage for free. And it does have night vision, which means you can see in the dark like Batman. Holy crap, it's Batman. While this isn't an outdoor camera, you could position this looking out of a window. But like I said before, if you're looking for a proper security system, check out the Very Sure review. If you're looking for just something to monitor, maybe your kids or your pets, then this might be the perfect product for you. And I definitely recommend you check out this, the Humax Eye. And once again, a big thank you to Humax and a big thank you to you guys for watching What Gear Reviews. I really appreciate your support. It's quite hard for me to get these kind of products and to get the new tech. And with your subscribe, it really helped me get there and catch up with some of these other tech YouTubers out there. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't be late.